How's it going everybody? I am Lepix from SSBA and we are back with you again for another feature match. Now, before I get into this match and commentary, the first thing that's probably very glaringly obvious is that there is no sound from the match. That is what I will apologise for. For whatever reason, the uh, the file just when I recorded it didn't want to record the sound. I can't really do much about that unfortunately and I didn't really want to put this match to waste because I do want to thank Basil and Deku for uh, having a match for us today to watch. But um, yeah, without any more apologies or time wasting, jumping straight into the match. For a very dominant first stock taken there from Basil, uh, Deku not really taking uh, the best use of the uh, Manando powers that Shulk has. Although he is flexing his biceps in that uh, saucy little uh, <laughs> uh, swimsuit he's got going on there. Will that be enough to bring him back onto the stage? It will not be enough, unfortunately, for Deku. See, that's the main problem with uh, with Shulk, is that once he's off stage, unless you can switch really quickly to the jump from another, it's kind of game over for you. Um, but that's not to say he's not a good character. If utilized properly, Shulk, uh, Shulk can be very powerful. But getting back into the match, it is can't take anything away from Basil, he is being very, very dominant. And is that going to be the game already? That's going to be game one, goes straight to Basil in a very dominant showing. Joker can be like that, he can be a very quick, powerful character. If you can't deal with Joker when he doesn't have Arsene, you're going to have a tough time dealing with Joker when he does have him with him. But anyway, jumping straight into the second game, we have a little bit of a switch up. We got Deku sporting the uh, Incineroar, and a very aggressive Incineroar going straight off the bat with an upbeat. That's not really uh, common, <laughs> you kind of, with Incineroar. And again, the upbeat off of the map is going to be the first stop for Basil. That can be the problem with, uh, with Incineroar's upbeat. It's never really used like Deku is using it. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is yet to be seen because maybe it can be an aggressive move, but from what I've seen by playing in Cinnaroar and playing against Cinnaroar, it's not really used as, a, um, as an aggressive move, it's used as a recovery more times than not. But, as we've just seen, he caught him there. Uh, the game obviously isn't over until the victory screen plays, so all oh, falling straight into that front smash from Basil. But as I said, the game isn't over until the victory screen plays, so maybe we can have a Deku comeback uh, a reverse uh, swipe, sweep, sorry, not swipe. Um, but nonetheless, can, cannot take a single thing away from Basil. He has played tremendously these past two games. Uh, the, obviously this one. And the last one, and any game I've played against him. Uh, a very good competitor. Um, sporting the Joker today. Although he is also known for his Ike, which kicked the entire crap out of my Dark Samus. <laughs> And we see again just another very dominant performance from Basil. Are we going to see another uh, tree stock? I actually don't know if we've had a tree stock on the channel yet. So having a double sweep tree stock would be something special. Uh, you cannot take anything away from Basil with that. Although Deku is not going out of the fight, he is. And there you see, he took the first stock away from Basil. You can't take a single thing away from him though. It has been a very strong performance. There is still time for a comeback here for Deku, but unfortunately it is not looking very much in his favour. Being sent off the map, that's not where Incineroar likes to play. Um, and in fact, I, I would argue that uh, Omega stages also aren't where Incineroar's like to play either. But there you see it there, the very strong back air from Basil is going to be enough to take the victory for him. So I'd like to say a very quick thank you to both Basil and Deku for taking part in this. I'd like to say thank you to uh, No Copyright Sounds, although they're not going to see this, for providing the music, which I have taken. And yeah, if you like what we do here at SSBA, please be sure to get in contact or get in touch. We are more than willing to put you in on a video to feature you. So uh, yeah, if you like what we do, please leave a like or a subscribe, because they help us both very much. Uh, check out the video that's on your screen right now. And yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. Yeah.